Hey guys, I'm going to have a real talk with you and you know, after talking to your GF, I see like a different um, experience of like hoarding like like it's hard to explain because I think it is an actual problem. I've read articles, I've given emails, I was giving articles to read, maybe that's better. I should phrase it that way. And I read them and I watched that show on uh, that really bad channel with the American Restoration and stuff. I read all that stuff and yeah, there might be actually a problem because I accumulate all these cards and I keep accumulating them like Punishing Fire I have a few hundred copies of right now. And I don't know why. Because it's not that I expect Punishing Fire to go up. Again, I made a video about this. It's just that like I like the card and for me, to, when I like the card, I just just, you know, buy them. Like, Punishing Fire, Fire Foils used to be about 20 bucks, and it's dropped about to $10 right now. And I'm really contemplating buying, like, a few dozen copies of them. Although I would never play, I, I don't play Legacy anymore. So I don't have any use for the card because it's banned and modded. I just kind of, I actually want nine of them so I can, like, look at a page full of them and be like, oh, cool, a page of them. This is not the best you utility of my money like it really is not and uh, I don't expect to make money I don't want to make money from the file errors and malaria and it's a bonus if I do but it's not something that when I buy the card I'm like oh I hope it goes you know doubles in price so I can make money because making money on magic cards is really difficult to do if you have many copies of the card because the only out you have is to buy list it if you buy list a card then you are in trouble because they're going to ask for about 50% of the card. So let's say you buy a card for $2. You have to hope the card gets to like $5 before you break even because there's shipping costs and things and time associated with it. How many cards from $2 get to $5? Not that many. Like I would say 98% of cards never ever have a price spike like that. So why do I buy them? Uh, I couldn't tell you honestly. And we had a conversation um, over dinner about you know why I so I'm still buying them like I'm not gonna lie to you I, I made that video and I was like I'm gonna stop I, I didn't really stop <laughs> and uh, it's different from like even anime collecting or even baseball card collecting like I have a very nice um, Michael Jordan collection of autographs but like I don't I, I have like about five of them but I don't need any more I look at my collection I'm like oh cool nice because you're not going to get like duplicates of the same Michael Jordan autograph or that's not very common in that particular hobby. But in our hobby, some people, not just me, like obviously I'm talking about myself, have hundreds of copies of a card. Uh, most recently I saw that video about the guy with uh, like a few hundred copies or maybe a few thousand copies of uh, the shark. Like some random shark card from the dark that has no value or utility at all got like a few copies of it and then Jade Monolith dude who has like all the Jade Monoliths or who has like a lot of them from Alpha and he's just collecting trying to get a mon monopoly on a card that is like semi like good I guess not even so I asked myself that question and we had that we had discussion over dinner and I think it it's not gambling. It's not like the same feeling I have when it's gambling stuff. It, I just feel really good when a card goes up slightly in price, even though it's illogical for me to believe that because I need the card to like triple in price before I can make any money. And I'm holding on to cards that like the large majority of cards I can tell you just don't do that. There are very few cards that can triple in price. So I kind of, um, I kind of believe it's because uh, as a Magic player, we kind of, I have somewhat a of a, it's only to Magic, like it's not to anything, I guess coding, I do a lot of coding and I do have an OCD about certain ways to put the comments and things of that nature. Uh, and cer certain ways to make GitHub files that really annoys me when someone does it differently. And it's an OCD because when I have eight of them on one page, I have to get the knife, but when I get a knife, I'm, not, I'm like, ah, oh, shipping, whatever, I'll order 10 of them. But then like, then I'll have like two pages, right? And they're like, ah, oh, well, the two pages doesn't look good. I need more. 
<laughs> and I ordered a whole binder of them. And they're like, oh, well, this binder, I, I need a new binder. I'm going to order a bigger binder. Oh, okay, well, uh, for instance, the 4x4 uh, four four binder came out, or the 4-row binder came out. I was like, oh, well, now I just have to, you know, make everything visually appealing. So I have to order more cards to make my, uh, you know, lands look right. Now, instead of completing sets of nine per page, I need complete sets of uh, 12. It's a problem. It's a problem. And uh, hopefully I can fix it. So at GP Houston, uh, I know a lot of you guys want to trade and stuff. Like, yeah, I'll have my, uh, I'll have, uh, I'm either going to sell a lot of cards right before GP Houston, because I don't like to sell at GP Houston, or, I'll bring, I'll sell, I'll bring like quite a bit at GP Houston. So if you guys need cards or anything, especially in legacy format, um, I'm very hard to get in touch with, but Instagram is definitely the best way to do so. So my Instagram is gutterless, and you can win booster packs if you subscribe to my Instagram. Anyway, bye guys.